This video is about the log log model written out here, where as usual log refers to the natural log. This time both y and x have been transformed using the log transform. So this gives us a model where we think a percentage change in x is associated with a percentage change in y. Again, we won't worry about is this a causal model or a linear projection or whatever. Uh, we'll just focus on the uh, interpretation in particular of beta 1. So in this case, it sort of combines both of the log parts of the log linear model and the linear log model. The approximate interpretation of beta 1 is that a 1% increase in x is approximately associated with a beta 1 percent increase in y. Uh, the book also gives the more, or not more, gives the exact formula for how to interpret it. Uh, the formula is more complicated, but it's always exact instead of an approximation. Um, in this case, our approximation how good it is will depend on how big beta 1 is, uh, or also if we want to think about a multi-percent increase in x. So as an example, we could think about a 1% increase in x when beta 1 is 3.2. So our approximation would say a 1% increase in x is approximately associated with a beta 1% increase in y, or if beta 1 is 3.2, a 3.2% increase in y. So in order to sort of do the calculations directly, just to get a sense of where the formula comes from, first we would need to figure out what's that increase in log x like we had to do in the linear log model, and then we'd need to take that change times beta 1 and interpret that uh, in terms of what it means for y. So first, if we think about the 1% increase in x, um, you can go back to the linear log video to see more details. Um, but that basically means we are taking the log of our original x times 1.01, because .01, we're uh, taking a 1% increase in x minus the log of our original x value, and then using those log properties, we can rewrite that as the ratio x. So we can see those x's will just cancel out there, and we'll get the log of 1 1.01. Uh, which in the other video I wrote out to lots and lots of decimals. Um, but for here, we'll just write uh, the first few. So the decimal after that, it does differ, but we can see it's almost exactly 0 0.01. So what this implies is that the 1% increase in x gives us a... Uh, change of beta 1 times 0 0.0100, 0, 0, which using our example of beta equals 3.2 would be 0 0.032. So if you remember now from the log linear video, we could say a 1% increase in x is associated with an approximately 
0 0.032 log point increase in y or log unit increase in y. If we wanted to further figure out what uh, percentage increase in y that's associated with, we could do that um, as we did in that log linear video. So this is uh, log point increase in y, or in other words, an increase in log y. And if we work through what we did before, uh, we can see this is, sorry, not approximately, this is exactly a 3.24% increase in y. So um, again, the approximation is not perfect. We sort of have this 4, where before uh, there was no 4, but it's uh, very, very close. If beta 1 were larger, we would have a worse approximation, or again, if we thought about, say, a 50% increase in x, uh, we would not have a good approximation. Um, but in this case, when beta, is, beta 1 is around 3, and we just look at a 1% increase in x, um, we get a very good approximation. And again, we get this nice um, elasticity interpretation that we see in a lot of economic models.